Welcome, Wolf of Wolfettes! We are back with the Tomorrow Children on the PlayStation 4. And it looks like, whilst I was offline, our city has reached 500 population and it has been restored. So now we're going to have to look for a new place to call home. Um, I don't think you guys have ever seen this bit, but this is actually where you pick what town you want to go to. There's actually a bunch of different subcategories, so you can go through this and find uh, towns that your friends are in, towns that have got higher populations, towns that are brand new, stuff like that. So we're going to have a look around. We've got towns like this right here. This shows you something that's probably going to be in the game later on to towns holding events. So obviously later on in the game, probably with a patch or something, they're going to update the uh, game and give us events or something. That would be, be something good for Halloween, like maybe there's like pumpkins around and you have to go and fight like, I don't know, Godzilla's wearing Christmas hats or jack-o'-lanterns or something like that. That would actually be pretty good. We've got Friends Towns, which obviously none of my friends are playing this by the looks of it. And I'm actually on my main account as well, so... Towns that have been running for a long time. Let's have a look. What I'm going to do is I'm going to try and find one with a pretty low population because I don't want to come on tomorrow and then have the whole of the uh, city restored already. So we're going to find one that's relatively new but still somewhat decent. I mean, this one's like brand new. Look at that. It's got four population. Four comrades. I think we're going to go with something around this one. Like this one right here. Yeah, that's the thing though. I, I want to have a lot of people online. New towns. Let's have a look at this one. Right, this is a new town. It's called Simki. It's got 24 people for population and it's currently got 13 people working in it. So I think what we're going to do, we're going to go to a pretty brand new city because I do plan to build my, um, I do plan to build my tower in a city. Probably next episode maybe because I've actually got quite a few coupons now so we could probably start constructing this tower. And I've obviously got the black market money. The uh, Freeman dollars that Heyo Jo sent me. So yeah, we should be ready to build our tower next video, hopefully. But for now, there's a couple of things we're going to do. Daily di diligence bonus. 18 ration coupons. Lovely jubbly. I'm kind of glad they gave me ration coupons. Oh, look at that. We've got an Eagle Corp Jack hammer. That's going to be pretty good as well. We can use that to build our tower. Looks like somebody is in prison over there. Uh, I've got an I've got an Eagle Corp launcher. Every time you log on, you seem to get one of these. Well, near enough every time you log on. They're like samples, just so you know what you're going to get when you spend your money. But the Eagle Corp launcher, I think in the beta or the alpha, I swear it killed monsters in one hit. I don't even. I think it might have even killed Godzilla's in one hit. But it looks like it's been made a bit weaker. It's ten times stronger than a normal rocket launcher. But yeah. But yeah, what we're going to do in this episode, um, we're going to head off to an island because I haven't actually spent much time in the islands. I've spent most of my time in this village just doing random stuff. So we're going to go off to an island and we're going to do a bunch of uh, mining. But one thing I do want to do is I want to find a mushroom. We need to find a mushroom on one of the islands. That's what we want to do because I want to show you guys something. So uh, yeah, let's start picking up all this stuff. There's not much stuff in this town, actually. We might have picked a uh, very, very new town. Like, insanely new. Right, I start putting all this stuff away. As you can see, we've practically got no flipping... Uh, I can't remember what this one's called. This is the metal. I can't remember what this one's called. But we've got none of it. Absolutely none of it. Let's put these in here. That's the thing, though. When you first start out your towns, you're going to have a bit of trouble trying to get a lot of the uh, green metals because you have to kill monsters and you're going to have basically no turrets, no weapons so yeah, it's going to be a bit of a pain in the arse but it is good to start off in a nice fresh town. One thing we do need to do in this video though, I have currently got a quest for killing, you see those flying things? I've got a quest for killing five of them and at the moment I've killed four so we're going to have to keep an eye out for a few of them so we can murder them. Let's repair this house whilst we have a chance. Oh, no, 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 no. Don't do that. I've got to not tap the uh, button too quick because uh, I, I keep screwing up on the repairing. It's very simple, but because I rush, I like to uh, mess it up quite often. There we go. 
Right, so uh, what tools do I have? I've got myself two pickaxes, a shovel, and a chainsaw. So we should be all right. So we've got to wait for the bus. So what we're going to do whilst we wait for the bus, we're going to uh, deposit a couple of these apples. One thing I do like in this game, though, there seems to be a big variety of different trees. So I, it's like different trees have different fruits. Like this one right here looks like it's got like some sort of... I don't know, it's like a lemon orange, I guess. This one over here's got the normal flipping purple looking apples. You've got the normal trees that have like red apples on them. I do like the variety of trees in this. And one thing I did check, I was having a look on some of the forums. You know I've uh, got those privilege, those party privilege things that you get for restoring a tan. Apparently that's going to be something that you need to use in a future update. So uh, yeah, at the moment they've got no use. So we'll just have to keep on gathering them up. Oh, this bus is going to take forever. This is going to take absolutely forever. Let's shake off these uh, trees. One thing I have learned though is make sure you don't build your uh, your tent near a tree because it turns into a ghost tent and just flies up in the air. <laughs> We've actually got quite a decent collection of apples. That's another thing you normally have to... The, the two things that sort of you have to worry about in these tans seem to be logs and uh, the green metals. But as the game progresses and your tan gets bigger, fruit becomes a pretty big issue. And so does logs. Because you need it for basically everything and you also need it to repair buildings. Oh, you son of a bitch. Hmm. Actually, I might be able to build my house here. Let's have a look. It's going to cost me 250 ration coupons, so it might not be worth it. Oh. Right, let's quickly get my work report. I've already got a couple of, uh... couple of buildings. Shops, I mean. But, uh, yeah, one thing I'm going to be doing tomorrow, because I'm actually recording this on the day, so you will be watching this video on Wednesday. Um, tomorrow's video should be overcooked, because that's going to be the next game I'm going to be doing. I still plan to do the Tomorrow Children, but I'm not going to be doing it too often. Because, uh, obviously, I've done most of the stuff in the game now, so I don't want it to end up boring. So, yeah, probably what I'll do every time there's a new update in this game. Hang on a minute. Oops, one minute. What's going on? You must earn at least more... At least more to... At least more to toil in this town to build a residence here. Um, okay then, <laughs> fucking hell. I don't know if that's English. Where is this bus? I probably missed it, ain't it? So it's going to be here at 17.18. What's the time? Well, oh, flipping hell. We've got like an hour's wait. I know we don't have enough metal officer. You know, because it is impossible to kill these bloody things. The Godzillas... The only way to kill the Godzillas is practically to have that mare who gives you the upgraded turrets and then have a shit ton of turrets everywhere. Or to um, have a lot of people in the tan rocking bazookas. I think that's coming this way, ain't it? <laughs> I like how somebody's just built a random disc on the floor. Oh, here comes the bus, finally. But what I want to do is, I want to show you guys the mushrooms. Because uh, if you noticed, in this game, you can find different sources of light. And one of the sources of light in this game is actually glowing mushrooms. But one thing you can actually do, instead of like bringing the mushrooms back to town, because normally when people find these light mushrooms and stuff, they pull it on the bus and they bring it back to town to use it as a light source. But one thing you can do is, when you find the mushrooms in this game, if you eat them, it actually makes your character glow. So you actually, you yourself become a light source. So it's pretty good if you want to do mining in the dark. Because then you won't take any damage and end up dead. So that's quite handy actually. So we're going to try and find a mushroom and I'm going to eat it. I suppose we should just try fiddling around with all of the uh, different things in this game. Because it seems to be a, there seems to be multiple uses for basically everything. Oh dear. If my commentary is a bit shit today, I do apologise. It is actually fucking boiling. I mean... Considering it's September now, you know, you'd think the weather would have cooled down. But no, currently in England, well, what it's saying on my thermometer right there is saying that the temperature in my room is currently 32 degrees. 
It's probably a bit cooler than that outside, but obviously with the PlayStation on and the computer and stuff, it makes it a bit warmer in this room. And obviously my door's shut. <laughs> so yeah, it's currently 32 degrees in this room. So yeah, that kind of makes me uh, commentate a little bit more crappy. I can't, I can't think straight in this heat. I really cannot think straight. Oh, what's this? I don't think I've ever been to this island before. Looks like some kind of robot. You got people having a little rave party over here, you know? A little thumbs up party. Let's give everyone a thumbs up. Yeah, come on everyone. Come on, let's do it. Okay, fine. I've got to be honest, I've actually never ever... Oh no! Oh, it's, it's despawning! I just flipping got here! Look at it! This is this is fantastic! It's like an island made of cogs. I've never seen this before, ever. I finally see something new in the game and it's despawning. Well, that's bollocks, ain't it? <laughs> oh, shit. Oh, no. Oh, no. I was probably supposed to have gotten on that bus. Oh, no. Right, well... There's a good chance I'm about to die. I'm not sure if the bus is going to come back again. Because when the island despawns, it has a new light, it has a new route. So, this uh, this safe area right here is probably going to despawn. Oh, Freeman dollars. Nope, it's definitely vibrating. It's definitely vibrating. The, the controller is going crazy. God damn it. Right, well, at the moment, it seems like it's not broken yet. So we'll keep an eye out for the bus, and I'll try and do a bit of digging. Maybe I could find something useful. Oh, no. There you go, mate. Here you go. There you go. Is that better, is it? <laughs> Flipping hell. How the hell did you die? What was you doing? He either must have jumped off somewhere high, or he probably just started mining in the dark. I mean, standing under here probably counts as dark. Oh no. If that bus doesn't come back soon, then we're, we're screwed. Oh shit! Got somebody over there with a jetpack. That bloody Godzilla just materialised out of nowhere. Oh no! <laughs> this ain't good. This is not good, Wolf and Wolf S. This is bloody not good. Just raining fireballs down on the city. It looks like there's probably some, uh,. I think those things in the sky flying around are called Bondi or something like that. It looks like um, it looks like there's some of them over there as well, like rain and fire down. A couple of people are using the turrets, so that should be all right. Uh, when I was reading the forums about this game, one of the one of the developers also said that this game at the moment is currently set to like easy mode, I guess. And when with future updates and as people get used to the games, I think it's gonna uh, get a little bit more difficult. Like, towns will be destroyed a lot more easier if you don't defend them properly. Because at the moment, if you start shooting at these Godzillas, even if they walk straight to your town, if you start shooting them, they just seem to randomly turn around and walk off. They never seem to really walk through the city anymore. And they used to do that in the Alpha. And the Beta, actually. Well, I tell you, Wolf Morphets, by the looks of it, by the looks of it, <laughs> the bus is not coming back. Have a thumbs up. Somebody over there with a jetpack who just literally gives no shits whatsoever. Um, I really don't think the bus is going to come back. So I think we're possibly going to have to just kill ourselves. Unless that dude over there wants to give me a lift back on his jetpack. Oi, mate! Hang on! I guess that's a no. Oh, shit, I'm sinking. Okay, well, I've wasted too much time already, so we're just going to have to start running. You know, if I die, I die. It doesn't really matter. I'll lose a bit of, uh, I'll lose a bit of toll, but who cares? Who cares? We can easily get it back. I've not done anything in this video so far, so I'm starting to get a little bit annoyed. I've just spoke a load of crap, basically. Damn it. Oh god, I hear people going crazy in this town. 
Uh, people need to be very careful because they are actually shooting our buildings. He's actually walking somewhat through the city. That's quite rare, actually. They don't normally bother. Right, one thing we're going to do is we're going to have to build a couple of things. I think one thing we're going to have to do is uh, we're going to have to get ourselves a, uh, a little forest going. So we can start building up a big supply of food. One thing you do want to do, though, if you want to make quite a lot of uh, coupons, if you plant a lot of trees and then you start knocking down all the apples and putting them in the uh, stockpile, you get quite a lot of uh, points for doing that. It seems like food is the best way to get points. But we're going to uh, make a bunch of saplings. These puzzles are not too hard, so you won't have to worry about me screwing up. Right, so... Duh, duh. Duh, duh. Do 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 and then do 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 there we go lovely and we're gonna make another one straight away we're gonna get straight back on here and make another one we'll probably make about four or five and then we'll start building up a forest it's so much easier when it's just free. So when it's free, it's just, it's just piss easy. It's when they add a fourth line that things start getting a little bit confusing. Do you see what I mean about the Freeman dollars, though? You do get quite a lot of Freeman dollars, considering, you know, that this is this has actually got, you know, currency in this game where they can make extra money. You would ex probably expect there not to be any money on the floor, but, you know, it's a good little thing, I guess. I suppose they could add things later on in the game, like random quests and stuff. They could, like, give you Freeman dollars or something. There we go. Uh, don't put them too close together, because so if you put them too close together, when you shake the trees, apples will normally get stuck on top of the other trees. So it's good to give them a, a, give them a bit of space between each other. And also, trying to cut things down is a bit of a pain in the ass as well, if the trees are too close to each other. So spread them out a little bit. And also, it just looks neater. Hang on a minute. Have I got, got anything more to put down? No. Right, I'm going to build a few more trees. Basically, for the rest of this video, I'm just going to build trees, I think. Because I've wasted a lot of time. So, uh, apologies for this video, Wolf of Vets. I know it's not been the best. That's the thing with this game. When you plan to do things, sometimes it's all about luck. And when it comes to luck, B-Wolf is not a lucky person. That is 100%. I am not a lucky person. So, <laughs> yeah. Because, like, a couple of videos back, I wanted to kill a Godzilla. And there was literally none in sight. And today I wanted to go to an island, you know, and try and find a mushroom. And there was literally not a single flipping island with a mushroom in sight. And when I finally got to an island, it fucking despawned. Oh, well. Um, Alright, I'll put these over here. Get this over here. I hope nobody else is picking up the saplings and trying to plant the trees, because... Uh, They'll probably place them in the wrong spot and it will bug me a little bit. Right, I'm going to plant this one about here. Let's get over there before someone grabs it. There we go. It's probably good that we have, we have a new uh, town now because the town I was in in the other videos, it actually started running out of wood quite badly. Considering some dude was running around like flipping chopping down all the trees, somehow we just had no wood left in that tan. And the islands were taking a very long time to despawn and there was no trees left, so it was a bit of an issue actually. But there we go, we've got a nice little forest going. I'll, I'll go and make another one. I think what I'm going to do in the next video, we're going to go to the new island, because it should be brand new. I don't think it's spawned yet, but we're going to go to the new island and we're going to look for a mushroom. And then once that's done... I think I should finally have enough coupons to buy a few jackhammers and then we could start building our tower properly. And hopefully other people carry on doing it when I'm not on the game. Excuse me, mate. Could you get out of the way? With your scary big-ass nose? Come on. I think I'm actually in the queue. Yeah, I, I don't... I... Okay, I've got a random quest. I think he wants me to find wood. I mean, if that's the quest, that's pretty decent, you know, because most of the quests I've been getting lately have been very annoying. I actually got one quest uh, a couple of days ago. might have been about last week, actually. And the quest was for me to go to a random city and restore two of those random dolls that you get. And uh, 
I could not find the, sit the uh, town it wanted me to go to. It wasn't even in the list, so it was a bit of a problem, actually. Um, to, you, to build saplings, you actually do need uh, to use apples to do it. Just to let you guys know. It needs four apples, I think. There we go. Right. That should be enough. Hang on a minute. Oi! You son of a bitch. You better plant that in the right spot. If I see you pull it too close... Oh, what's he doing? That's too close to the stockpile. Don't do it there. There we go. Don't know where he took it. Uh, that's a pretty good spot, actually. But you see what I mean? Now we've got a nice little orchard going on. So we have a nice good supply of apples. Now you want to uh, keep this here. You don't want to cut these trees down. If you want to gather wood, just gather it from the islands. And uh, if you do have a situation where you don't have any... What's that? Oh, look. We killed the Godzilla. Look how close to the town it got murdered. Flipping hell, I've not, I've, actually, I've not actually seen anyone kill anybody, any of these Godzillas for a while now. Maybe the bigger your city gets, the more health they get. But yeah, I'm going to end the video now, Wolf Morphette. So thanks for watching, Wolf Morphette. So sorry I didn't do nothing in this video. I just sort of built a bunch of trees. But next episode, if luck is on my side, I will uh, hopefully go to an island, find some decent stuff. Maybe see a new island and we will start building this tower. So thanks for watching, Wolf Morphette. Hopefully you enjoyed. Like, share and join the pack today. Oh!